welcome back to my channel for another new video. I'm back at it again with a makeup tutorial. <laughs> I really love this look. I did a really dramatic fall look um, with the purple and the green and then I did a really like brown smoky eye. But I just wanted to kind of reel it in and give you guys something that you could wear every day out and about if you're going apple picking, pumpkin picking, you know, to a farm or like out for, I don't know, a date or something. It is whatever you guys want to do. There's no false lashes. It's really simple and really just fall and easy and really anybody can do this. It's literally just like a few shades on the eyes and it's just really glowy and natural and I really am obsessed with it and I'm so happy that I did this look for you guys. I know that fall can kind of be like a little bit daunting because you know there's the dark lips and the vampy eyes and everything like that but I just wanted to give you guys something that is really easable, easable? easy and relatable so anyway if you guys like this look and like this tutorial definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you're not already and join the fam I upload every Tuesday and Sunday so yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then let's go ahead and jump right into it. So getting started, we're going ahead and we're going to prime our eyelids with some concealer. I'm using this Wet n Wild concealer. If you guys have eye primer, you can definitely use that as well. I just feel like concealer works just as good and I don't have to have an extra product in my bag. So it's totally up to you guys, but I'm just dotting a couple of dots on my eyes of the concealer and blending that out with my finger. Sometimes I do use a beauty blender, but I don't think I had dampened my beauty blender yet and I didn't feel like getting up, so I just used my finger. So just blending that out with my ring finger because it is the lightest touch feeling finger, so you don't wanna make wrinkles by tugging at your eye too much. So I also set that with this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium. I love this. It just um, gives my skin a blank canvas for eyeshadow and everything like that. I also already have my eyebrows done just to uh, shorten this video a little bit and not make it super long. But I'm just setting that with an e.l.f. brush just making sure that I completely coat the whole eye. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 palette and I'm taking those two shades on a Morphe um, blending brush and just blending those two shades into my crease. I really wanted this look to be really light and super easy to recreate so I didn't want to do anything too heavy or too dark so just blend that until you like the opacity of it. I didn't want this look like I said to be too dark but I wanted a nice light crease, very blended, very, very blown out, but nice and simple and easy for you guys. So I'm just blending that, making sure to get my whole crease. Don't go too far up to like the brow bone and everything, but just making sure that um, the, the two colors are blended nice and even together. Now I'm just taking Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics and applying that on my lid. I love this shade like all over my face. Like if I could use it as a setting powder, I honestly would. But I'm just taking that on my lid. I wanted to keep the eyes really fresh and awake and I think that using the highlighter that you use on your face, on your eyes, really brings the whole look together and really makes everything very cohesive. I didn't dampen my brush or anything like that. This is just the product straight from the pan. You can definitely do that if you'd like to give this more of a kind of almost reflective look, I want to say, but I just wanted to keep it really simple like I said. So this is just blending out and then I'm taking that same blending brush that we used in the crease earlier with no extra product on it and just blending those two shades together. Now I'm taking this shade right here also from the Mad for Matte 2 palette and I'm just blending that on my outer corner. I felt like this look needed some like a little bit more of a deepness to it. I think it was just like a little bit too washed out without this darker color. In the outer corner you can definitely skip this if you guys want it to be super easy for like school or work but I just wanted it to be a little bit more deep and I'm just blending that on my outer corner making sure to blend the shade into the crease as well so that everything blends together. I am also blending this a little bit on that champagne pop shade um, that we put on the lid just to make everything nice and blended. Now I'm going in with this dark brown shade all the way at the end of the palette and I'm just blending that on my upper lash line just to define my eyes a little bit. I didn't want to do any liquid liner or anything like that 
that's super harsh so I'm just using a smudger brush just to smudge this into my lash line so that my lashes look a little bit thicker since we're not using false lashes or anything like that I love this method for a really quick and simple look you can even do a winged liner with eyeshadow I think I have a video on that on my channel as well but I love doing this for a nice soft everyday look now I'm going ahead and taking the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, my favorite mascara ever. It makes your lashes so thick and so black. I absolutely love it. And I'm just blending that onto my lashes. I'm not wearing false lashes, so I am taking my time applying mascara just so that I get every single lash and my lashes are super full. I did curl my lashes before this, but I didn't want to bore you guys with me curling my lashes. I think you guys know how to curl your lashes. but. I'm just putting this mascara on my top lashes because I don't like this wand that much for my lower lashes, but you can just, you know, put this on the top and bottom and be on your merry way. But like I said, I use um, a different mascara on my lower lashes, and I also want to finish up the look with some eyeshadow on the lower lash line, but we'll do that after foundation. But like I said, I do really take my time with this mascara, making sure that everything gets coated evenly. Now moving on to the face, I am taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and just spraying that on my face. My skin has been really dry recently and it's so weird. I really don't know what to do because I've never had dry skin like a day in my life. But I'm still using a matte primer because my T-zone does get oily. So I am blending this on my face. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte primer I absolutely love it it is amazing it's almost like a lotion consistency and it just keeps my foundation on all day long and nothing moves so I'm just blending that into my face like so I'm using it on my whole face just because I'm used to it and now going in with a foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation in the shade 208 I think I believe I'll have all the products listed down below for you guys but I'm just spreading this on my face like so and then going in with a foundation brush to blend everything out I love this foundation for the fall and winter time because it gives you a glow without looking greasy and it does work really well with the stay matte um, primer so I don't get too oily throughout the day because this is a glowy foundation like I said but I am blending this in with a Real Techniques foundation brush just to make so that everything is blended out on my face when I go in with my Real Techniques sponge so I just use this to spread out the product not to blend it into my face or anything for that I use this Real Techniques sponge which is like my favorite along with the L'Oreal sponge but that one was super super dirty and I didn't feel like using it so I'm just using this one and I'm blending all of that foundation into my skin making sure to blend down your neck as well so it doesn't look like you have a mask on or anything like that and just going ahead and going hard blending once I'm done with that I'm going to head in with concealer I'm using the same concealer that we use to prime our eyes which is the wet and wild concealer and I'm just putting that under my eyes down the bridge of my look nose I really wanted this look to look natural and I had a little bit of dark circles under my eyes so I'm not using a super bright um, concealer or anything like that this one kind of just blends into my skin seamlessly but I love this so much it really really sinks into the skin so well and I'm just blending that out once again with my Real Techniques sponge Once that is all blended, I'm going ahead and setting that concealer and the rest of my face with the same Maybelline Fit Me powder that we used on our eyelids. I love this powder so much, guys. It's so finely milled, and the color is perfect for a little bit of brightening, but also it just melts into your face when you're setting your whole face. I'm using my Real Technique sponge to set under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. And the places where I get more oily, I haven't been setting my whole face, like I said, because my skin has been a little bit more on the dry side. But I absolutely love this powder so, so much. And I'm also setting my forehead because my forehead always gets oily <laughs> and then I'm going on to bronzer I'm using my NYX matte bronzer you know my staple it is in deep tan 
obsessed with it and I'm just kind of bronzing, kind of contouring, but nothing too crazy. I really wanted this look to be easy. So I'm just using a Real Techniques um, contour brush to blend that onto my non-existent cheekbones to give myself some cheeks. <laughs> so I'm just blending that on my cheeks and on my forehead and also on my jawline just to give myself a little bit of color back into my skin because the foundation can sometimes wash you out. Once I am done contouring and bronzing, I am going ahead and wiping away the excess powder that is on my my eyes, <laughs> on my face, I mean, and just blending that out with a real tech, not a real techniques, an e.l.f. brush and just making sure that everything is nice and blended on my face so that there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Now I'm going in and highlighting my face with the Champagne Pop highlighter that we used on our eyes. I love doing this. I think it really makes the whole look come together. I'm just blending that on my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow a little bit just to make it all super cute and super blended. Once I'm done with that, I'm going ahead and going in with this shade from the elf palette once again and just blending that on my lower lash line just to complete the look I didn't want this look to be too top heavy so I'm just blending this color just to finish everything off I think it really opens the eyes and really makes the whole look a little bit more sexy if that's the right word but I think it just really um, completes the look and if you can if you attach it to like the outer corner of your eye it really just makes the whole eyeshadow look very very complete and it looks amazing so once I'm done blending that on my lower lash line I go ahead in with the falsies mascara from Maybelline and just place that on my lower lash line I think that this uh, look really is focused on like the lashes and just the bright inner corner of the eye so I'm just putting that on my lower lashes I think you guys know how to do mascara and I just do that like so once I was done with my mascara I'm going ahead and taking this Milani lip liner in spice and applying that onto my lips making sure to blend it a little bit upwards just to make sure that it's not just a really harsh line and I am blending a little bit of this color onto my lips as well I'm sorry if you guys can hear like a chewing noise in the background my dog is chewing on his bone and it's keeping him quiet so we're just going to let him do that but like I said I'm just outlining my lips with this and once I'm done with that I'm going ahead and taking this liquid lipstick from ColourPop in the shade Frick and Frack and applying that onto my lips as well. I'm done doing that I'm going ahead and taking that same champagne pop shade that we used on our eyes and on our face and applying that under my brow bone just to complete the look I think this really ties the whole look together and really makes it pop and then once you do that then you are all done with this look you just got to set your face I use the wet and wild photo focus um, primer spray thing I love this because it really makes your makeup settle in and look like your skin but that's it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you in my next video very soon. Love you girls. Bye. Welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. For this week, I will be playing the week of October.